Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Blackbird. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Well, according to CNN, and maybe you guys have heard this, it's everyone's talking about it, that um, billions of snow crabs have disappeared from the waters around Alaska, and scientists are saying overfishing is not the cause. So there are reports, um, most um, outlets are saying and news organizations are saying billions, but uh, the Daily Mail said there were nine billion snow crab that just disappeared. The Alaska snow crab harvest has been canceled for the first time ever after billions of the crustaceans have disappeared from the cold, treacherous waters of the Bering Sea in recent years. So it's been over two years um, that, you know, the crab population has been dropping off. But in two years, 90 percent, you guys, that is a lot. <clears throat> the Alaska Board of Fisheries and North Pacific Fishery Management Council announced last week that the population of snow crab in the Bering Sea fell below the regulatory threshold to open up the fishery. You guys, this means that so many people will be out of work because this is like a domino effect. There's no crab, so the fishermen will not be fishing and, um, you know, be able to make money to support their families. These guys, some of them still owe a debt on their boats. So just think about all of the implications of fishing season being shut down. But let me go back to the article. But the actual numbers behind that decision are shocking. The snow crab population shrank from around 8 billion in 2018 to 1 billion in 2021, according to Benjamin Daly, a researcher with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Snow crab is by far the most abundant of all Bering Sea crab species that is caught commercially, Daily told CNN. So the shock and awe of many billions missing from the population is worth noting, and that includes all the females and babies. The Bristol Bay Red King crab harvest was also will also be closed for the second year in a row, the agencies announced. Officials cited overfishing as their rationale for canceling the season's Mark Stitcher, the ground fish and shellfish fisheries management coordinator with the state's fish and game department said that more crab were being fished out of the oceans than could be naturally replaced. So there were more removals from the population than there were inputs, Stitcher explained at Thursday's meeting. Between the surveys conducted in 2021 and 2022, he said, mature male snow crabs declined about 40%, with an estimated 45 billion pounds left in the entire Bering Sea. It's a scary number, just to be clear, Stitcher said, but calling the Bering Sea crab population overfished a technical definition that triggers cons conservation measures says nothing about the cause of its collapse. We call it overfishing because of the size level. Michael Litzo, the Kodiak Lab Director for NOAA Fisheries told CNN, but it wasn't overfishing that caused the collapse. That much is clear. Litz Litzo says human caused climate change is a significant factor in the crab's alarming disappearance. Snow crabs are cold weather species and found overwhelmingly in areas where water temperatures are below two degrees Celsius, Litzo says. As oceans warm and sea ice disappears, the ocean around Alaska is becoming inhospitable for the species. There have been a number of attribution studies that have looked at specific temperatures in the Bering Sea or Bering Sea ice cover in 2018. And in those attribution studies, they've concluded that those temperatures and low ice conditions in the Bering Sea are a consequence of global warming, Litzo said. Temperatures around the Arctic have warmed four times faster than the rest of the planet, scientists have reported. 
Climate change has triggered a rapid loss in sea ice in the Arctic region, particularly in Alaska's Bering Sea, which in turn has amplified global warming. Closing the fisheries due to low abundance and continuing research are the primary efforts to restore the populations at this point. Ethan Nichols, an assistant area management biologist with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game told CNN. Stitcherts also said that there might be some optimism for the future as a few small juvenile snow crabs are starting to appear in the system, but it could be at least three to four more years before they hit maturity and contribute to the regrowth of the population. It is a glimmer of optimism, Litzo said. That's better than not seeing them for sure. We get a little bit warmer every year and that variability is higher in Arctic ecosystems and high latitude ecosystems. And so if we can get a cooler period, that will be good news for the snow crab. So you guys, if you enjoy snow crab, I've never eaten them, I have an allergy. But if you enjoy snow crab, like so many people I know do, <clears throat> um, you may wanna look at this article. Um, it's because of global warming. The water is too warm for these crab. They, um, they live in very, very cold water. So, you know, they disappear because they're, you know, they're hauling ass. They're trying to find some place cool enough to survive. But anyway, let me know what you think about this in the comments.